Yes, uh, thank you. We're very pleased with the first half of the year with a 3% growth and uh, sustained profitability at 25% uh, EBIT margin. Um, and uh, a sign, as a sign of a robustness of our portfolio and the strength of the diversified market exposure that we have. It is true, we're narrowing the, the guidance of to 4 to 6%, maintaining the profitability of 25 to 26 uh, 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 EBIT margin, and uh, then uh, reflecting the reality that we're living of uh, stocking, destocking, mainly in the food uh, segment that we have seen softer demand uh, in the first half of the year. As we go through the second half, we expect uh, we see the peak of the stocking uh, behind us. We're expecting an easing of the stocking. We also feel full confident on the strength of our innovation, the new launches, the continued penetration of our solutions in emerging markets. And then again, the richness and the robustness of our diversified portfolio. In bioenergy, we deliver 26% uh, growth and we continue to see the full momentum of the penetration of our solutions in uh, segments such as animal nutrition and strong growth uh, across uh, also and growth also in, in household care. Right, I do want to get your sense in on your margin performance. Your gross margins have come in at 55%. Uh, your EBIT margins have come in at 20%. Given the cost pressures that you're facing right now, uh, what is the way forward on operating margins? Yeah, we, we feel very confident and are very pleased with the continued sequential gross margin expansion. Since Q3 2022, since last year, we have seen gross margin quarter over quarter bringing expansion, sequential expansion versus the previous quarter. This quarter is no different. Here we're seeing the impact, the positive impact of our pricing efforts, that they are reflected, the positive impact of productivity, that they are reflected in the gross margin expansion. <clears throat> Sorry, and, and then uh, that puts us in full confidence on our uh, aim to deliver flat year-on-year uh, -year gross margins for the year, deliver on the EBITDA uh, expectations expectations at 25 to 26 and for sure on track on our expectations for 2025 uh, strategic targets of 26 percent minimum EBIT margin. So we feel in, in a good place here. Yeah, so I just want to be clear about the demand story here because you wrapped up the first quarter it felt as though you had a tailwind. Uh, timing was an issue but also you were seeing decent demand. So are you seeing a rolling over in demand now because of the macroeconomic conditions? We, we see a, a broad range. I mean, don't forget that we are a very diverse company with a multiple range of uh, solutions growing in a diverse set of portfolios. So in bioenergy, we continue to see a strong pull of our demand, continuous need for our enzymes and yeast and biotech solutions that lead to higher yield and also bio-sustainable uh, fuels to continue to feed the world. Not only replacing uh, a gasoline in, in North America, but penetration in Latin America, biodiesel uh, picking up and also biomass as uh, enzymatic biomass also emergently and slowly continue to contribute. We continue to see penetration of our solutions in household care in emerging geographies continue to be a driver of growth continue to see a pull of, uh, of uh, uh, bio, the, the, our enzymes and solutions for sustainable animal nutrition. And then, yes, we have not been immune to the destocking in, uh, in uh, food and uh, nutrition. And that's a reflection of the narrower also expectations for this segment. But overall, holistically, we continue on good track for growth, 4 to 6 percent, and also with a good profitability in place. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersacci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.